John Gregg is calling Mike Pence an extremist. He calls it the Pence Manifesto and says it's been a blueprint for Pence's career in Congress. It led John Gregg to stage a campaign event in front of a Planned Parenthood clinic to read from a book published by the Indiana Policy Review Foundation in 1992 when Pence was its president. His blueprint, his manifesto, declares that giving women too many choices leads to promiscuity and that a physician's judgment is not reliable and that safe sex out of marriage is a myth. Greg pulled a quote from Pence involving what Pence called the myth that there can be safe sex outside of marriage. He quoted Pence as saying, this myth has many ugly heads. It leads to abortion, pornography, and the general denigration of women as objects to be had. Planned Parenthood officials joined in, saying Pence's record is one of denying women's access to family planning services and cancer screenings and treatments. He has consistently attacked women's rights and focused his congressional efforts to diminish access to health care. Greg says Pence would limit women's rights to all kinds of health care including contraception and cancer screenings. The Democratic candidate for Indiana Lieutenant Governor running alongside John Gregg. She stopped at the Terre Haute Planned Parenthood today. Back in 1992, the Indiana Policy Review Foundation published a document called the Indiana Mandate. Mike Pence was the foundation's president at that time. Simpson says the mandate calls for a radical conservative agenda that doesn't reflect the view of most Hoosiers. She feels Pence used this same agenda in Congress. While some of the recommendations in this book are outdated, most of the recommendations are quite shocking. And they are all consistent with a very extreme agenda that we know Mike Pence follows. We can only assume that this is the same agenda, the same path that he would follow uh, if he becomes governor of Indiana.